Just gonna wait for the uh, Omni Slash being bounced back. Be I think they fixed that one. Or okay. they removed it. No. You blocked the first slash or something like that. Or you can't counterspell it anymore. That sounds wrong. Is it? That sounds wrong. I'm, I'm sure that still works. Right. I, I don't think I've ever heard wrong. of any of that. Okay. Do you... Do you know when they changed that? Uh, I think like one or two patches ago. Uh... I'm sure it's not a thing. Dane, 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 mother... Only slash cooldown increase in 721D. Oh, this guy has no chill, man. Just looking through the patch notes right now. It's almost one of the uh, funniest things, you know? Yeah. Hmm. I think Omni Slash no longer allows you to teleport while using it. I didn't even know that was a thing. But I guess it's not anymore, so... <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can still do it. Alright, I might be wrong then. Apologies yeah. about that. I know back in Dota 1, if you had perfect timing with your Omni Slash, I think for a little while in Dota 2, uh, you'd follow somebody's TP to wherever they went, and you'd continue Omni Slashing. If you're in the middle of casting it. Or if you uh, teleported into the fountain and then you died after Omni Slashing? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that happen before. I mean, it killed the people in the fountain, but then he also died afterwards. Rip. Unplayable game. Yeah, it's it's really broken. But hey, you can't really blame Valve, they're a small indie company. Yeah, that's true. I expected to fix it up. Well, classic pause. We're missing our pocket player. He'll be back soon enough. Yeah. Anyways, let's discuss uh, some of these lanes right now. It is Medusa going mid lane on the side of Radiant. Uh, probably going bottom is the Juggernaut with that Lion CM combo. Those guys are all going to be terrifying together. Uh, again, Puck, pretty solid off laner. He has to be, I guess, kind of liberal with his use of Illusionary Orb. Uh, one of the issues with that is the fact that when you're throwing that out, it's your harasser and your way to take CS, but it's also your escape. Yeah. So even though you want to be able to throw that out to harass the enemies and get some CS, if you throw it out, you become a lot more susceptible to being killed. So it's kind of a double-edged sword in that way, where a lot yeah. of other heroes, they have like one ability they can throw out to spam, and then they have a different ability they can use to escape. Both those abilities being, I guess, merged into the same thing makes Puck a little bit annoying to play and level that illusionary orb up when you're in like an overly scary situation. You really have to be careful about your positioning. The good thing is though, I mean, it's, it's looking like an anti-mage warlock lane and can't really harass that anyway, so might as well not even spend resources trying to. And, yeah. But on the other hand, there's no real stun, so it should be fairly straightforward <coughs> to keep away and not be in trouble. Mm. It's actually going to be Monkey King heading towards the mid lane. Instead of that uh, Leshrac that I was talking about, I guess they figure, all right, well, I don't want that Mystic Snake to be hitting my Leshrac. Uh, he's going to get out damaged by Medusa just because of his low base damage. Monkey King is going to have an easier time, and he can, I guess, mischief that Mystic Snake when it jumps onto him. Oh, yeah. Pretty easy to time that one. Still give the mana away, right? Yeah, you do. You just become invulnerable to damage. Yeah. Oh, used to become that. actually like phased out uh, when you used it. I was so freaking broken. It was also like a 5 second cooldown or some shit. Yeah, was it was an extra hero ability for free. I don't yeah, know why they it. had it that way. It's still that kind of that way. You can dodge things like Finger of Death, even though you get the skill point for free. But what do I know? Well... The hero wasn't, wasn't strong enough when he came out, I think. So they had to yes, it was. Ability. Lucky <laughs> King on release, oh my god. I know. It was kind of the joke. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you caught it, Nev. Uh, anyways, we lost two more players now on the opposite team, so hopefully we get to watch some Dota 2 soon. That would be nice indeed. All we get is mosquito buzzes. Yeah, I really hate that taunt. Oh. That noise is super unpleasant to my ears, and I'm yeah. sure the ears of everybody watching this game. 
Okay, from 1 to 10, where 1 is like a nice ocean current or something, and... Uh, nice ocean current isn't my, like... Oh, like okay, this is the what's awesome your most, What's your favorite sound? I'm just uh, disappointed. Uh, probably anime openings. <laughs> I, I regret I asked. But hey, if, if 1 is an anime opening and 10 is like a, a nails screeching on, on chalkboard... Where does Mosquito Bars rank? <sighs> Probably like 8. Okay. I mean, this voice lens over with this, dee -dee -dee, that, that also ranks as a 9 for me, actually. Really? That one's yeah. not so bad. It's really bad for me. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't like it. Besides, it's Nails on a chalkboard isn't the worst thing. What is the worst thing? I don't know, probably something I mean, that I can't think of <laughs> off the top of my head because I've repressed I mean, it's, it. It's it's a classic classic example though because it is really bad. That's true. It's, it's not as bad as like styrofoam up against each other, but I've uh, I think oh. we actually talked to a metaphor. I think it was Thank on Twitch the other day, and I've, like there's, there's some people that where that's actually physically painful. And I can certainly understand that. I'm like I'm not one of them. Oh my Wait. god, look, Monkey King's a drill that will pierce the heavens. Take a look at him. That's, uh, he's the courier, you know? Thanks. He's, what's that? I don't know, it's a little... I, Elmer, Elmer Hillborough. I don't get it. Why does a mole need a, uh, little what? cart with a drill? Aren't they able to dig underground themselves? Or is it like he's like a double, uh, I... dig undergrounder guy due to his drill? I mean... Do you know that moles don't all have those drills? Do you know that it's not the way that they actually dig? They don't dig. How do they dig? They dig with a drill and not with their hands. Really? One of them do. Yeah. Do you know that it's not? Is the that way? why they're in the ground? They're trying to hide their drill technology from us. Yeah. Let's talk about Dota. <laughs> it's a very interesting scientific question, though. In any case. Yes. Uh, yeah, Dota is abound any moment now. Should be a, They've got uh, the Warlock anti-mage lane that I was talking about. This sort of lane uh, enables your anti-mage to stay in. Uh, I was talking about this last game as far as heroes like Abaddon being quite good uh, for sustaining it. What we only yep. got? Alright, we got two bounty runs for each side. So, the, the benefit of having a hero like Anti-Mage or Spectre with a healing hero is the fact that you're not going to get kills with these heroes anyway. They're quite weak in the laning phase. They're not really able to hit people. They don't have the kill potential. Um, but the heals that you get out of the heroes make it so they're going to be able to get last hits regardless. You can't harass these heroes out of the lanes for that reason. So, yeah. you've kind of not lost out on uh, what you would have gotten with paired with a hero like Warlock, it doesn't have kill potential anyways, but you gain that late game potential of the hero that's weak in the starting of the game with it. Talk about harassment here, it doesn't even go for the Shadow World level 1, instead goes for that uh, full target Fatal Bonds, you know, getting all the creeps, two heroes, it's kind of the perfect thing. This is where it becomes a buff, the change that it had, so. Bit of yeah. uh, very efficient harassment being done. Yeah, when you're up against uh, two heroes in lane, that change to Fatal Bond becomes extremely useful because you're harassing two heroes at once and they're both taking full damage from all those creeps and whatnot. Well, doesn't mean you don't have Shadow Word and right now Nail. would really like that, but it has a few tangles to so tie them over. For the time yep. being. I think you should have came to lane with more regen if this is what they plan on doing with the Fatal Bonds right at the start of the game, but yeah. maybe just figured, all right, this guy will... Surely give me my uh, that is, uh yeah. heels, yeah. The only other thing is, yeah, it's the mana situation. I mean, only eight mango, there's just one clarity left now. Top of the one that he's going, so it's... You can't really sustain that indefinitely if you just keep spamming fatal points. Yeah, but you're almost out of, like, regen on these heroes, too. Like, Puck is down to two tangos and a salve. Lion just has a salve left, and he doesn't want to use it yet because he wants to get use out of it. Not quite low enough. He's late. He's actually going for it, Faker. He... Uh, 
You've just destroyed the was, region really bad. I thought he was gonna deny it at least because he was always gonna die, but no, he just went for it and still dies. And now Monkey King's back up to the fold, so that was a bit weird. Yeah. I, I don't know. And again, that's very bad news for you. He didn't manage to land that Mystic Snake right there, though. But the fact that you're dying in this lane uh, matchup where you want to be as passive as possible, you don't want Monkey King to get too much from it. You just want to draw as much away from Monkey King while getting as much CS as you can. Any little advantage suddenly makes things a lot worse for them. Never mind. All I good. have no words. <laughs> I've got no words. No words, no words, no words. Well, okay. that was unexpected. whatever, man. <laughs> what goes around comes around, right? Especially when it comes to Mystic Dota Snakes. Dota 2 is a shit game. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, does it? What what if Dota was played by OpenAI exclusively? Would that make it better? No, I hate robots. <laughs> they think that they're smarter than me. Well, so we haven't talked about bottom lane just yet. So Juggernaut also again kind of struggling a little bit here against the Sanking. Yes, it becomes very hard for them to get a kill up here against. Uh, the Juggernaut though, because anytime you want to try and stun with the Leshrac, he's just going to spin it off. Every time you see him charging up that uh, stun anyways, so not really going to be able to kill him. You have to wait for the Seam to make a mistake and try and kill her, I guess. But she's playing pretty far back, so we're probably not going to see a whole lot of action down there. But at the same time, you don't really have the kill potential in the top lane. Due to just being a warlock in the anti mage. Oh, I guess we're just gonna see all, all the kills in mid. Faker gonna be run down again, but this time he does have some health coming in. He's juking and jiving, and now with a follow up stun from Lion, he can get this kill. Like, oh! What the hell was that? Do you not see that? He lost mana for that spell just mana. before oh he died god. from the like, mana drain. It's like, how did he cancel three mana short? Yeah, oh my god. He was in mid animation, he couldn't finish it. That was so sick by the lion there. Never seen level 1 mana drain actually be impactful, honestly. Welcome to Dota. Uh, this is why we Dota. All good though, top lane still going well. Anti-mage on top of the CS shot, exactly what you want to see. And now we can deny a few extra creeps, perhaps. Radiant are scattered. You also want to run very aggressively in a park, kind of threaten that mana burn Didn't a little bit. Yeah. And it's also going to need some extra this heals, but walks right there, so all good. Yeah, and he's decided to put two points in that right away, which I'm fine with that skill build. Generally, you want to go uh, three, two, oh. So you want to do a warlock. Yeah. For your first couple of levels. Ooh, Lion, Jerry. A few too many heroes here. Dodges that stun though, and now. Well, they're still running after him. Nameless pretty damn fast with the boots, with the wind lace. The damage over time should be enough in the end. Panda claiming that kill. Also, a bit of extra experience from random neutrals, perhaps, if they could get the kills, but maybe not. Yeah. And off they go to the shrine. Anti Mage goes right back to landing a couple more CS. I was surprised he's not playing a little bit further up on this puck. Maybe he's a bit afraid of all the damage you can do. Puck does pretty high, uh, pretty high base damage at the moment. 86, so. But I definitely think once Warlock comes back to lane, throws that uh, Shadow Ward out onto him, and oh my god! How does this keep happening? Uh, I mean, I guess this time Nameless was there, I guess. Yeah. So. But these kills back and forth mid lane definitely should have been happening. Especially yeah. like uh, the Monkey King. That play from Lion was so sick, though, recognizing that, alright, if I just drain a little bit of this guy's mana, he's stuck me with the balance. Trying for the anti mage here, the stuns goes they in, but the heals are already through with, especially with the sticker. Now, the turn on, Puck used the orb aggressively, they're just running him down. Now they could just hit the Lion to get that kill. With the link together, maybe. Oh, the turn around on the stun! Nile dropping very low, it wasn't actually quite enough damage to bring down Puck, and now the rotation through from Faker. Turns this into one for one, and. Oh, down bottom lane, there's another fight going on. Leshrac dead, Coco Hook not quite. He does snipe the healing ward. Oh god, the loot from Slaw almost enough to get the kill on No Name, but now he has a self going. Slaw has to be very careful about his own life. Both him and Coco. Very, very low. Yep. Damn. 
He's not going to go for this, though. They're going to play far back to the tower. The Sand King knows that he can't gank. With no mangoes, he can't go any further. He does get his mana boots, though, so he might try and play a little bit further Amos. forward. In fact, Leshrac's probably going to go for this one. And so now Spotted this is his Crystal Maiden, so it should be a freebie. Just with the Edict, just needs another right click. Maybe with the sense on There we go. Coco, no way he can get close. And there's another salve, even. Yep. And, yeah, they're going to hunt it. They know. And he knows, too. Yeah, so he's been TP's out. Top lane. We're gonna go again. Faker, super low and super dead. Puck is still fighting. Nail has to blink out, and he does indeed. Now, Maki King finishing the right clicks. One more should do the trick. The oh. tree! <laughs> Being planted in that guy's in the space, but that's not a bundle strike. And he could not dodge that one. And tip. Oof. Oh, there right. he goes. There. That was a pretty sick play there, though, by the uh, pretty sick rotation. I was going to talk about the sick play earlier from the Medusa, like throwing out the uh, Mystic Snake onto the neutral creeps up here in order to kill the anti mage earlier. And then after we actually missed it, the puck did end up dying to the um, fatal bonds that was on the creep wave. Oh, I did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thought he was. So we missed a couple of things. This has been action happening nonstop all over the map. Down, down here, bottom. Again, Juggernaut. Well, the Edict still go through that spins. It's gonna be a bit careful when the creep dies, but not enough damage as it turns out. Yep. And they don't want to play too close because they know Medusa's coming, so they're getting out of there. This Medusa's been pretty active for Medusa. I mean, four points up on Mystic Snake, right? They don't really quite have the split shot to efficiently farm the jungle. That being said, I mean, Mystic Snake can also help you out against some camps. But it's also very useful for fights if you can uh, make use of it. But now, okay, gets the ultimate off. Quite the early point into that as well. But they still want to stick around here, linking them out together. Nameless, very low indeed, but not low enough. Oh. <laughs> he did the math on this one. Yeah. That's yeah. quick maths. This was over before. As the audience shouts, Seb. Yep. Seb. Should be shouting, Nah, Yuma, okay, he's been gone on here, just throw out the battle strike. It's a burrow strike, a lot of strikes here now, Hook has the defensive spin, the body blocks are real though, he's super freaking low, now the goal will be dropped on the back lines, with the fatal bonds, he can just hit any old people, Juggernaut will fall first, Jerry, kinda low, so he's jumping back and forth, to him. Wooka's command to intercept. Moving back, not quite in position, no, as now fake in the front lines, not sure about this one. He's just making this decision now as well. More and more people coming to help, but things just got yeah. worse and worse for them there. I mean, once that golem was down, you have to abandon that fight, but Medusa deciding to come in. This isn't how you want to be playing the Medusa lineup, but, but I guess you recognize, okay, well, if I play too passive with my Medusa, the enemies have, like, a pretty aggressive, strong lineup. Uh, I'm going to get outfarmed by the anti-mage when he hits his timing. Things aren't going to be good, but... Medusa is just sitting on a couple Wraith Bands and a Band of Elskin. Meanwhile, Anti-Mage is getting closer and closer to his Battle Fury. Still taking a good amount of damage there from, from the park, but now has the Ring of Health, so... Should be alright unless he gets coiled, blinks out, snaps it and dies, like so. Meanwhile... Oh man, CM, no. Oh. Uh, hello? Okay, um... You were looking at the bottom, I was looking at the top, just anti page <laughs> soloing the puck. I don't, know, I don't know, he was under the tower there, that was just, I guess, puck yeah. being... Puck being a little bit too trigger-happy going to the anti mage there, forgetting that anti mage actually has a lot of armor and damage, especially when he's under his own tower. So yeah. he ended up dropping the wand as well. And CM actually just got caught out uh, on this ramp down here Radiant by the Leshrac without vision. And that's exactly what Dyer wants to be doing. They want to be planting wards, controlling this jungle, and taking as much of the map as they can, pressing the advantage that they have at the moment. In fact, they're going to be able to take this tier 2. Right, Glyph will delay this a little bit more. Another TP through from Faker. He does have the ultimate to work Aggressive with. Aggressive Glyph. Aggressive Glyph indeed. Yeah, they really want this tower repositioning the Sandstorm. Now the Burst Strike over on Faker. He's going to die. Have the golem, and that's the ultimate coming through first. Hook. Okay, with the spin from the front stun. You can get a stack of the thing of death there from the line. Just too many reinforcements coming in this time. But how often can you really pull this off? And it was only in the Shrek in the end. Sanking still hanging around. Yeah. 
that's a pause for the track that you took down there. It's not really a whole lot of a prize, and you've committed a lot of heroes to that. Yeah. And you may just farming happily away here in the top lane at the same time. Yeah, they're getting then, control um... back up their jungle, though. They removed one of the observer wards. Yeah. is getting the farm on now, which is... Uh, this was behind quite a bit here with all the action going on. 2-5-2. Two, and two. Not exactly a scoreline that you would ex expect out of a Medusa. 12-13 minutes into the game. It's down bottom. Okay, burst strike on Crystal Maiden as the balls all comes right. out. All right. Yeah, this is a very dead Crystal Maiden with three heroes on top of her. wonder if she was the one who's disconnected or something. Or... It would make uh, things a bit know. awkward, but either way, it's going to be a dead hero. Yeah. Well, given that everybody's pinging there in the bottom lane, they're not going to be able to save her, though. In fact, they're... unless Shrek has no TP on him, he's trying to ferry himself out one, or courier himself out one right now. There we go, she pops, and that should also set up for the tower to go down any moment. They don't even necessarily need to use the edict for this one. Just click the death, but hey, just to make it quick. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Oh. Use that. Don't get the last it though, which is a bit sad. It's very sad indeed. But yeah, anti yeah. farming is gonna find a very quick battle for you, isn't he? Unless he gets going on right now. Hex coming through out of the trees into the coil. Yeah. Into you the silence. Stick Jarvis is still available though, he can just blink away. <gasps> 40 health oh, points. Perfect timing. Easy. Easy. Calculated. Quick maths. Yeah. He instantly just gets healed back up by the warlock as well. Oh no, come on, Auntie. Come on, buddy. She blinked into the trees. He's stuck. My efficiency. <laughs> How is he stuck? Is it Quilling Blade? He cut the wrong tree. Oh. <laughs> it's when you need to go back to Lumberjack school, you know? Yeah. Cut the wrong trees. It's actually very important. Oh, I, feel better already. I thought you said uh, back to Lumbridge, and then I realized you didn't play RuneScape because you're not cool. What? Don't worry about it. You know, you're the only one who thinks RuneScape is cool, right? <laughs> RuneScape is cool. Yikes. No, no, I meant Lumberjack School. I mean... Yeah. You, you actually need to cut down the right trees, you know, the one that are sick and old. To make way for new ones. Like, uh, look, look at this top lane, they're cutting down this tower. It's not gonna make way for new one, it's gonna make way for a few more kills. The golem's gonna be dropped in the back as well. The last tower dead already. <laughs> Monkey King actually sitting up on a cliff. The tower finally goes down. It's nameless. Boom's come out on top of the golem. Yeah, I'm just I'm not gonna do any of that, but now he finds a free kill in the middle of Medusa. That was before Battlefield. The, ha, an anti mage is not supposed to be getting solo kills this early on with no actual items. But hey, he's getting it anyway. If you're going to be giving solo kills this game, it's going to be on this Medusa, who's uh, actually okay. pretty far behind so on the go, go, go. doesn't uh, have any HP either. It's taking a lot of damage to Spike eating what's going. Now the stun actually connects on the park. They're going to be able to bring him down. The only slash bouncing back and forth. They should have plenty of hull points to tank that one up. Kuko Hook is just not strong enough right now. They're going to be able to click him to death. You know what I can keep the rest of them busy in the back. And go for another burst. What? They just disappeared! They just disappeared a single boundless strike. Yeah, now Faker's is like, oh, I'm right helping, now. I'm helping. Dagger's just about up. Oh no, she's not even gonna get the stone gaze off. That's no, and you just disaster. lost every hero on your team. Are, are we playing not Turbo? Is this what's happening right now? They're playing so fast right now, and Anti Mage yeah. isn't even a part of this. 5 to 22, 15 minutes into the game. Yeah, 11k net worth lead right now for Big Lions. Dota Plus isn't giving them very good odds either. Yeah, Three percent is very generous right now. My These kind of heroes on this level of farm, that yeah, seems highly unlikely. Maybe with the smoke, maybe with the finger of death, they can certainly get a kill if they find the right target. You can just play back right now, wait for your cooldowns to come off, and then go forward again. Yeah. This might be a window of opportunity. Opportunity that I would say that this would be a window of opportunity for big lions to take a fight, but you just don't have enough gold. But they're gonna try for it. This goes in, the final stankings would be a big one, but it's also very tanky. Mirror spin in the back, trying to bring down Panda, who doesn't even have the golem right now. Now the burst strike. 
keeps him safe. Nameless now caught on the front with the coil. Trying to bring him down. Big bounce strike, but not big enough this time. Two supports go down. The rest of them walk away. All right. That's the thing they could have hoped for there, I guess. Radiant's bottom tower is uh, under attack. They did only get the two support heroes, but they were worth a lot of gold in their own right. That was a yeah. wicked six streak on the line. I mean, on the <laughs> the line got a wicked streak. Ooh, what, what was that? Strike away, frostbite over, monkey just pops the ultimate. He doesn't want to be here though, there's too many heroes on Radiant side. Yeah. But CM, CM not enough mana to follow that up with a frostbite, so they decide not to go in. Again, these are the heroes with the majority of the net worth in the game. All of Big Lion's power are on these three heroes. Sand King, Anti-Mage, and uh, Lucky King. So they decide not to commit to it. They are, <laughs> they do realize that their chance to win this game is not great. If AM finish off the battle fury just a few moments ago, now it's the Yasha and the Manta Style recipe on the courier. It's another 600 gold or so for the full on Manta, and at that point, it's actually already pretty dangerous to certain yep. heroes. I feel to like CM. Just blink on her, wait for a frostbite, and Manta Style that off, or even counterspell it, even better. Hmm. The Lions now want to play aggressive, their cooldowns are off. Well, they have another Golem just coming in to threaten that they can't really fight that right now, even in front of their own base. Illusions. Need to wait for them to go win and commit it to a stone gaze or something? Like, how do you even take a fight? A full 5 on 5 fight, or 5 on 4 even, if your team's out. Andy Mage, he's gonna get caught out here. Oh, the Hex actually connects, follow up stun. Perfectly timed here, they have to silence, do they have to damage this time? Looks like they don't. Oh my god, the Barondal Strike hits everybody. Mana Void to do a little bit of extra damage. Dale's still. Oh, he's dead, Goil! He's still dead. GG is still called because they realize, yeah, whatever. Intimage dead or not. Intimage dead or not, they did miss their chance. They're not being able to take him out there. It did cost them. I guess yeah, they lost. Yeah, last little bit of morale. I think they can't think of GG, uh, aren't they? Someone's cancelled the GG. No, there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cancel the first couple of months, I think. Big line